Hi, I am Arjun. In today's session, we are going to solve the problem on projection of planes, hexagonal lamina with uh, one of its corner resting on HP. And the problem is hexagonal lamina of just 25 mm is rests on one of its corners on HP. The lamina makes 45 degrees to HP and the diagonal passing through the corner on which it rests makes 30 degrees to VP. So when this diagonal is passing through the corners, we'll, we are going to get a beta angle. So let's see how to solve this particular problem. So first I'll go to line command and select a thickness of 0 0.13 to create XY line. First I'll create XY line and mark X and Y, VP and HP. So first we'll create hexagonal lamina, go to applications, macros, run macro, select and side polygon and choose flat length and each side is 25 mm. So we we'll choose flat length as 25 mm and number of sides to create for hexagon is six. Minimize, place it since one of its corner is resting on HP. So I'll select this entire lamina I'll rotate this with respect to any diagonal. So now this becomes the hexagonal lamina with one of its corner resting on HP. I'll change the thickness to visible one, 0 0.50. And simultaneously name this. This is in A, B, this will be C, D, E, and F. Now draw the projection lines onto a XY line. So from A and A till the intersection of XY line. And B and C will lie in this B and F we we'll line the same line so till the intersection of xy line and c and d will line the same line from end d till the intersection of xy line so now so we shall draw a front view of this particular uh, hexagon so from this end a to this f and so now this is a front view. We shall name this. This is A dash. This point will be B dash of F dash. And this point will be C dash of E dash. And finally, this will be D dash. This is stage one. This is the front view of this particular uh, hexagonal lamina. So in order to create second position, as it says, the lamina makes 45 degrees with respect to HP. Select front view of stage one. Copy. Turn on copy command and move this A dash at any suitable distance. Place it on the XY line and go to rotate select end a dash and end d dash rotate it by 45 degree so here copy command should be turned off rotation angle is 45 since it is making an angle of 45 degree with respect to hp place it now take the projections from this end a dash so till the intersection of line from a and when it becomes perpendicular, change the thickness of this projection lines to 0 0.13 and say from B dash of F dash. So we are going to get point F here. And we are going to get point B here. So this is A. 
we shall name this simultaneously so that we will not have many confusions while creating the lamina and from c dash and e dash so this will be c and sorry e and this will be point c this is point c this will be f this will be point e and from d from d dash so this will be point d Now change the thickness to 0 0.50. We shall join this A to B, B to C, C to D, D to E, A to F. So D to E Shall draw the projection again from C dash of E dash. From D dash to D to E, E to F, F to A. So this is phase two. So now, we need to create a diagonal from A to D and from this point A to D and measure this diagonal. If we measure the diagonal here, it is 50 and here we are going to get this as 35.36 because when the diagonal is passing through the corner on which it rests so he says it makes an angle of 30 degree with respect to VP. And in order to create this, so first I'll create a line parallel to XY line and uh, draw a line at an angle of 30 degree. And now with this true radius of 50 mm as radius, go to arc by center point I'll choose randomly one point as a center and with the radius of 50 mm cut an arc on this 30 degree line and construct a line from the center section point construct a locus of the line from this intersection point and now with this appearant length as radius, again arc by center point. So if we place the cursor on this, this midpoint will be choose selected. And taking this as a midpoint, and now with the appearant radius of 35.36 as radius, 35.36, cut this locust line. And now taking the second stage drawing, Copy, turn on copy, pick this end D and place it exactly on the center point and go to rotate. Select this end D 
and the NDA, rotate it and place it on the end. Now go to extend. We can extend this. And if we measure, this will be beta angle. So we are going to get 45 degrees at the beta angle. And this angle will be 30 degrees. And this side will be 25 degrees. And now you can draw the projections from all these points. A, this is the end B, this is the end C, this is end D, and this is the end E, F. Now draw projections from A, one point at a time. So A dash is on the XY line. So here we are going to get A dash. Now, if you take projections from point B, so this will be A dash. Now, if we take projections from point C, This will be point C dash and now take projections from point D. This is point D dash and from E, E dash will be here. will be e dash and from f this will be point f dash now join the line using a thick line from a dash to B dash, B dash to C dash, C dash to D dash, D dash to E dash, E dash to F dash, and F dash to A dash. So this is stage one. This is stage two. This will be stage 3 drawing. This is top view. This one will be front view. Thank you.